Introducing Social Banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. Hi, my name is Tolu. I'm actually just a regular guy who loves to cook. Now, as you already know, Cookie Jar is predominantly a bakery that produces the best tasting cookies, cakes, cupcakes, and desserts. But here, I'm at Dishing Out, and I'm gonna be showing you how to make some of my best dishes from Nigeria and around the world. Most of what we make here can be made in your kitchen with the right attitude and the right ingredients. So come on in and let's have some fun. So what we're going to make today is my special grilled lamb and sweet potato pottage, asaro style. Now asaro is predominantly a tomato, onions, palm oil and pepper based pottage. But my mom would normally make it with yam or and grilled meat or fried meat most times. But today I'm twisting it up a little and I'm using sweet potatoes and lamb. Some of the ingredients I already have here, I've started chopping up my onions. Um, but I'm going to grab some things from my fridge, alright? First thing I want to do is my tomatoes, onions, peppers, both peppers in the blender. All right, so I'm gonna prep this, guys. All right. I'm prepping my lamb by separating the chops carefully. We'll start off with some seasoning salt, some barbecue seasoning, all-purpose seasoning, some tarragon, some pepper for some kick, white pepper, black pepper, and some salt. That's about it. And we just want to rub this in. I'll put these in the fridge so the lamb can marinate while I make my pottage. So first thing is hot pan, some palm oil, and that should do it, just enough to coat the bottom of the pan. And while that's heating up, I'm also gonna grab some tomato puree, and that would just give our sauce uh, more tomatoey and redder color as well. So oil is getting hot. I'm just gonna put in one onion in there just to see how it does, and there we go. It's nice and hot, so some onions in there. There we go. Right. And now, my tomato puree. Just about two teaspoons, large teaspoons of tomato puree. And grab a spoon and just put that through down there. And it's time for our tomatoes. High heat and just let the oil go in. Okay. Season with some salt and some seasoning salt. And also just a pinch of pepper. I don't put that last because I want my seasoning to cook. Cover that up. I'm gonna get started with my lamb, and what I wanna do first is brush down my grill. All right. Olive oil. I'll let this heat up while I prep the potatoes. I really, really love sweet potatoes. You can do them so many different ways. Okay, so I finally finished putting my sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna grab a bowl and chuck them in there. That's that. I'll first slice my potatoes and then dice them in big chunky pieces. And what I want to do is just put some salt in this water 
to salt up. Yeah. So I just wash that potato again, some salt water. And let that sit for a minute. So my grill is finally nice and hot. We're gonna place this down. Can you hear that sizzling sound? Beautiful. All right, so we're gonna have this sit here for about five minutes on one side and flip over to the other side. Now, time, over, time to go over to our potatoes. Now, our stew is almost cooked. It'll take another 10, 15 minutes they're about to cook, and this is the right time to add the potatoes, all right? Don't worry too much about the water. We want some of the water, some of the water to go in here. So, potatoes in. Now, there's one ingredient that I haven't put yet that I think almost every asaro needs and that's some crayfish. So, just a dash of that. Not too much, because we don't want this to turn completely fishy. All right, just stir that through. I'm gonna grab the ugo leaves. I'm gonna chop some and put that in last. And we just want just a little bit of this. I like to look for the fresher ones. Wash my knife. Okay. Cut right in the middle. And twist this around. And just nicely chop. Now it's time to turn our lamb. Now let's check it out. You see that browning away. Okay. Mm. Smells really good in here. Let's just check on our potatoes. And that's cooking. And you can see it looks really delicious. In here we have onions, tomatoes, peppers, the scotch bonnets and the tatashe, which is a large chili pepper some palm oil, some potatoes, and then some seasoning. And seasoning is really easy, like I said. It's uh, seasoning salt, salt, pepper, white pepper and black pepper, and some crayfish to give you that, bring it back home to that nice asaro taste. All right, and it's time to plate this guy up. And when you're plating, you want to do this gently. There's no rush, because when you rush, you get splatters, and you don't want that, okay? And that's just about enough, okay? And now for our lamb, there's one right there. Let's grab another one, put that one right there. Finally, our celery stalk, right in the middle. There. And voila, there we have it. Grilled lamb and sweet potato pottage, asaro style. The asaro, I'm gonna take some of my sauce. Mm. The sweetness from the potatoes, that little hit of crayfish at the back end. Mm. Lamb is nice and tender. Mmm. Hold on. Hold on. Delicious. Delicious. This is Dishing Out. I hope you had a good time. See you next time. Hi, I'm Unos. And if you did enjoy that video, which I know you did, you better subscribe to our channel and you can watch more videos too.